breakfast time. I'm making a little scramble. There is onions, mushrooms, and spinach. Um, one egg and one egg white. Some dill. Some tomatoes. Some cheese. Some salt and pepper. And done. And I put it on two English muffins that might be mayonnaise. Judge later. There we go. With some grapes. And pregnant lady breakfast. Hi noon, it is Friday. And today I am making dinner um, in our crock pot. So I'm about ready to get this recipe started. And it's so easy. And um, it's one of my favorites. So I thought I'd share it with you. Also, I had a request for how um, to show how I videotape recipes without having to use my hands. And um, so I use this camera to show my face. Hello. And a different camera to show the recipe. Um, it's dorky. I'm a dork. We've, we've all established that at this point. So, my sister has a baby, and she wears a Moby wrap. Um, I don't know if you've seen them. They're pretty cool. But um, I thought, I'll just make one of those for my baby camera. So, this is my contraption. I literally came up with it, like, in two seconds. It looks ridiculous. But, you know, that way I can use my hands. So, I, <laughs> I, I told you. I'm wearing a backpack, and then I have a scarf, and I just tie the camera on and that way I can see wh what I'm doing. I can use my hands and so yeah. If this gets patented, I get the money, okay? Okay, you are now on the chest cam. I have um, salted my beef and what I'm making is my version of Chipotle, um, like their barbacoa kind of stuff, which is what I order and it's super good. This recipe, will do several things for us. Tonight we're going to have um, either a burrito or a burrito bowl. And that was garlic powder, by the way. Um, and I'm going to sear. This is really hot. I, if I start a fire on video, that would be cool. And it won't be the first time. So there's a ton of salt and pepper and garlic powder. Not a ton. It's like a teaspoon. And then what I do, you don't have to do this, but I choose to. Let me see how hot this is. I'm a little scared. Yeah, it's ready to go, kids. So I am going to sear the beef. You don't have to do that. It's going in a crock pot, but I just like to. So get in there. You know what? Let's, let's not try to be too cool, okay? If I start a fire... I apologize. Okay, so there we go. This big thing will make a ton of meals. And it's so good and so easy. And guarantee you I set off a fire alarm every single time I cook. My kids call it the cooking alarm. Because they're mean. You got to see Sam yesterday. Look at that. There's like little fire. Oh my gosh. It's did you see that? Am I doing something wrong, you guys? <clears throat> Should I put something in the pan first? Okay. Basically, watch my videos to find out how to ruin stuff. Oh, shut up. I burned it. Look. In like two seconds. That's never happened. How not to cook with Brienne. Tell your friends. Um, crap. This stinks so bad. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Remember when I was like, you don't have to sear it? You don't. I'm just going to get it out. So. Ugh. Come here, little guy. My crock pot is purple. There's just nothing cuter than that. I'm sorry. Now, don't do what I do. Okay, then the next thing I'm going to put in is an onion. Actually, it's half an onion. And um, there we go. A little can of the little green chilies. 
all the liquid in there. Yummy. Um, and then you just cover it with about three quarters of the way up with water. There we go. And I'm going to put the lid on it and cook it on high. And we should have it ready for dinner. <laughs> I cannot believe that happened. Anyway, you got to see Sam yesterday. He's so, so cute. Um, he'll kill me if I say that. Um, yeah, so he was home and it was awesome. We, um, we've been arguing lately though because he's been wanting to read the Hunger Games series and I've said no, um, which apparently I'm the min this is according to him, I don't know if this is true, I'm the minority um, of the parents in his class because apparently they're all reading it and he is 10 and he's in fourth grade. And I read the books and I own the books so it's not a matter of, you know, getting it to him, but, um, and I believe he could read it, no problem. He's a smart kid. But at 10 years old, I found the books to be disturbing. Um, and so, you know, I was like, Essentially what happens in the books, if you don't know, it's a bunch of kids being forced to kill each other brutally um, in order to save their own life. It's messed up. Um, I like the books. It's good. I love the movie. Um, my husband and I saw it. He thought it was disturbing. My whole entire kitchen is filled with black smoke. It's gonna The smoke detector is going to go off any second. <sighs> I'm going to open the door. So, yeah. Cut. Hold on. Okay, I had to go outside because um, it really smells in there. It smells like, not that I've ever smoked pot, but it smells like burnt reefer. Um, focus. <laughs> I cannot concentrate these days. Okay, so anyways, um, he wants to read The Hunger Games. And I'm just like, at 10 years old, you haven't had the, you know, capacity to even process the ethical questions, the value of human life, any of it. So, yeah, he is super mad about that. Oh well. Um, if that's the worst thing that I've done as a parent, which it's not, then I'm cool with that. So, whatever. Okay, I'm gonna go deep smoke the house. Even the dog came outside. <laughs> the dog's like sneezing. Oh my goodness. I am the best cook in the world. So, this is later, and I still smell like burnt beef. I know. You guys, I can't cook. What? Mommy, what's that smell in here? Oh, that's me, honey. Ew. What's it smell like? Ew. <laughs> I smell like ew? <laughs> Why are you crying? I don't like it. Huh? I don't like it you don't? <laughs> you want me to roll down the window? Ow! <laughs> <laughs>